There's 30,000 photographers in New York City. It is one of the most competitive places to be a photographer. So you really have to you know, think outside the box in terms of doing your own personal work and, and trying to get that to, to be creative, but also at a really high level. I've been doing this for over 20 years, so I started off doing film and, and it was such a different world. And I think the digital age has really meant that so many more people are doing photography. People want to look at this as one of those incredible careers where you're traveling the world, you're shooting beautiful girls, you're meeting amazing people. So it's very hard to be a photographer here and it's very hard to be successful in this in this city. You have to understand, like it's just it's just absolutely insane. At this point, I think I'm so tired. <laughs> you know, shooting Carly Kloss, you almost work yourself up to it in a way yourself because she's the top girl in the business and you know, I've got all these ideas that I want to try and do and you've got like three hours, which is nothing. So what we're really doing today with you is I'm going to make you a necklace out of red algae around your neck so it's all oiled and wet and beautiful. The inspiration is the ocean. Beautiful. I'll sell this to Tiffany's or something. Ooh, look at that. Let's take it around the thing, Chad, and you're going to tie it. I feel it's it's chilly, so is it? It's really special to be able to go to work and know that you're doing more than just uh, another picture that's going to be, you know, seen in a magazine once and then sort of forgotten. I think that it's very cool to be a part of a project that lasts longer than you and is bigger than you and can help uh, help others. I feel like at a Japanese restaurant they like put this on a plate before. It... <laughs> I thought I heard it talking. <laughs> it's right. alive. What did it say? It was oh, okay. no. It was the. The paper was right there, Carly. Beautiful there. Try that for me like that. Just like this. Have your arms up for me. Let me just see it. Like that. Pull the eyeliner camera. Add some shadow in there. Make it a de density so it's going to be a two tone thing. Like the dense base with some of the, the glitter is going to give us some high points. You know, I think it's beautiful. For me, it's special to work on projects like this because it's sort of put things into perspective of how I can use my small involvement in this to help the greater cause that this whole book is for. Boy, just come down to that, Carly. Beautiful. Yeah, it's That's gorgeous. stunning. Gorgeous. Yeah, thank you for having me. Are you serious? We're so stoked that you're here, honey. Yeah, me too. Like, it's just like, it's a great way to finish it I, off. Well, you're done. Can you believe it? Ten months. Okay, thank you. Thank you. These images are meant to go out there and to really connect people with the environment in a way that's not obvious. That you actually look at and think, wow, you know, look at that incredible detail of that object. Look at that amazing moment. And, you know, we really start to reflect back and think, wow, it, nature is really incredible. So it is December 21st. It is the last day of shooting. And uh, I'm really psyched to be at the end of the journey. It's hard to believe it's been almost 10, it's been 10 months. The heart. Are you, you guys have been walking in time. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you so much. This is the last day. The other day, we were, I thought we were finished shooting with Carly Kloss, and then all of a sudden, you know, Jess Hart was in town and her sister Ashley, and it was just like, it was just too good an opportunity to pass up to shoot the two of them together. We just shot Carly this week, so this is all red algae. I was trying to, I had someone bring seaweed from Australia oh. in their suitcase and it was the wrong bloody seaweed. No! I'm serious. You know that bubble seaweed from Australia that you pop? Yeah. I had yeah. someone try, my sister was out at six o'clock in the morning no, swimming and she couldn't find it. Then I have it manly. Bloody hell. Oh no. So That's anyway, hilarious. we went for the red algae. So what we're doing today is I wanted to do something with the two of you actually wrapped, like sitting down, wrapped around each other, just all this beautiful skin and you almost look the same. And it's all going to be just about form. See, what you're seeing is, you know, there's these two beautiful girls, and it's that whole beautiful elegant of them just together, the connection as, as sisters. You haven't got any laughing in the book, okay. and I'd love to get you with the great energy of that sort of like Amazing. thing, Amazing. you know? Yeah. So I showed you the shots of Arizona and her, and her son, those sort of that's the shots. That's really what I want to try and do with these two girls together, is their beautiful. sisters, is create this beautiful moment that's like really raw, beautiful, luminous skin with sort of like salted beach hair 
and just capturing the just raw beauty of the two of them together. James is brilliant because he just knows exactly what he wants and he has such a great aesthetic and he knows how to get it, you know. So I'm really so thrilled to be involved. You've got to have a strong idea about, you know, what you're trying to shoot and the ins where your inspiration comes from. I have to say this has been the most amazing project in terms of enjoyment for me because I've really started to let go of forcing a particular kind of result and a particular kind of thing to happen. And I think that's a huge deal when you can start to really enjoy every day of your life. Hearing a lot about the concept, I love it. Focusing on the nature but in a beautiful way and in a really creative way and I think it's a nice way to bring attention to the greenies. I think it's awesome. Drop the shoulder, Jess, in there. Beautiful. These are the type of things you do in your life and in your career because you want to, not because it's not like work, it's not... It's just contributing to a bigger picture, which is really nice. Ashley and I were talking about it on the, on the way here. It's just a much more artistic side of our industry. It just feels very natural, which I love. Beautiful. I love that one. James is great. He's just so uh, energetic and he just knows what he wants. He's, he directs yeah. you really well, which produces Something a much like better it. picture from us. It's so beautiful, you have to mark that one. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. It's really cool to shoot with my sister. It's such a natural and I don't know, it's really nice. Jess and I haven't um, been able to shoot like that together ever, I don't think. So it's definitely a good one for mum, that's for sure. You know, this really, to be finishing this shoot the, the, the weekend before Christmas, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better gift not just for Christmas for, for 2012. I mean, this has just been such an amazing journey. It's really wonderful to see it come together and work as a cohesive story that really took so many months, so many people, so many different things that really worked together to create this beautiful, beautiful story and series of images. I mean, I think when you're working on a book project like this, it really is about, you know, a number of pages, like 224 pages, you know, a front cover, a back cover, and it really just sort of like almost comes together as one body of work that you really sort of like lock away and I love that the fact that this is like a chapter closed. I believe in this product so much that I'm paying for it myself so if I don't get a sponsor I mean I'm out $250,000 but I believe in this product so much that I have to go for it. I'm just going to go for gold because I believe in it and it's something that I as an artist I want to do and as a, as a, as a human being I want to do it as well. You also have to ask yourself you know commercially is this going to sell? Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to raise money for, you know, for the environment and Global Green. So you have to think about, would you put this on your wall? The big takeaway is that nature is so perfect. We can't take this for granted. It's too incredible. There is no better design.